Hi, I'm Bob from Bob's Automotive Mirrors and More, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to install a home link mirror in your vehicle, and it doesn't require running any wires. All you need is a T20 Torx screwdriver and a few minutes of your time. No more cluttering up your sun visor with a garage door remote, and no more damage to your visor from the metal clip. This is the Gentex Manual Dimming Prism Homelink Mirror with Frameless Glass. Like the mirror in your vehicle, this one also has a lever on the bottom that you can flip so that when someone's behind you with their brights on, you flip it and it minimizes the glare from their headlights. This mirror has built-in Homelink buttons that are powered by an internal battery that should be good for about 10 years. The three buttons on the mirror can be used to control garage door openers, gate openers, and other home link devices. Unlike the basic mirrors that have black plastic frames surrounding the glass that are still very common in vehicles nowadays, this mirror is frameless and the glass goes from edge to edge for that sleek modern look. I did another video describing the differences between framed, semi-frameless, and frameless mirrors, so check it out here. This mirror fits a huge amount of vehicles from the 1990s to the present. Those that have a standard wedge style of mount on the windshield, which has been and still is the most common style of windshield mount. And we also have adapters available that will allow this mirror to fit other vehicles that have a cam lock style of a mount, such as Honda, Subaru, and older Toyota vehicles, or ones that have a tri-lobe style of a mount, such as some Ford, Lincoln, Dodge, Chrysler, and Jeep vehicles, and a few other adapters as well. You actually may not know this, but if you know someone who has a leased vehicle, this Gentex Homelink mirror can be installed in a leased vehicle. Then when the lease is up, you can remove the mirror, reinstall the original mirror, and transfer this Homelink mirror to the next vehicle. If your vehicle has a black plastic shroud on the windshield surrounding the mirror stem, as car makers use these to cover the various safety-related sensors, such as lane departure cameras, rain sensors, and so on, that are attached to the windshield. This mirror has the longer style stem that is required for use in vehicles with these types of shrouds. Okay, let's get to the installation. This particular vehicle came with a mirror that is secured to the windshield mount with a T20 Torx screw. So swapping the mirror out is super easy. Some mirrors do not use a screw to attach the mirror to the windshield mount. So for these mirrors, the removal process will depend on the attachment method of your mirror. Here are some other styles of wedge mount mirrors that don't use a screw to secure them to the windshield mount. Comment below with any questions. So for this installation, it's a matter of loosening the screw in the base of the mirror, then sliding the mirror up and off the mount and set it aside. Then take the new mirror, slide it onto the mount, and tighten the screw until it's snug but don't over tighten it. There are the home link buttons, so now we have to program them. Then just program the home link buttons using the enclosed instructions and you're all set. I'm Bob from Bob's Automotive Mirrors and More, and that's how easy it is to install a Gentex home link rear view mirror in your vehicle. Because new customers eventually will turn into repeat customers if I keep them all in. Give them the information they need and sell them a product.